A hybrid PCB is a type of printed circuit board that combines two or more substrate materials, such as FR4 and polyimide, FR4 and ceramic, FR4 and aluminum base, etc. Hybrid PCBs are becoming increasingly popular in industries such as aerospace, defense, medical, and telecommunications, where reliability, thermal management, and miniaturization are critical. A hybrid PCB. Interesting. Hybrid means combining multiple subject materials. I got it. But what are the advantages of choosing hybrid PCBs over single subject PCBs? By combining different substrate materials, hybrid PCBs offer several significant advantages including First, improved performance. The use of multiple substrate materials allows for optimal performance and efficiency in different aspects of the circuit, such as thermal management, signal transmission, and power distribution. Second, design flexibility. The miniaturization of electronic devices has led to the need for more compact and efficient PCBs. Hybrid PCBs can address this need by providing a high degree of flexibility in design and substrate material selection. For example, a hybrid PCB can incorporate metal layers for electromagnetic interference shielding or use ceramic materials for high-frequency applications. Third, multifunctionality. Hybrid PCBs can be designed to have multiple functions on a single board, which can simplify the overall system design. By combining different circuit types, such as high-frequency and power circuits, on a single board, the need for multiple boards and connectors can be eliminated. This reduces the overall size and weight of the device, while also improving reliability. Due to the complexity of combining different subject materials, designing a hybrid PCB might be more challenging than designing a standard PCB. Is there anything we should be aware of in the design process? Yes, here are two important factors that designers should consider. First, material selection. Different materials possess unique properties such as dielectric constant, surface roughness, and thickness that can significantly impact the electrical characteristics of interconnects. Impedance, signal integrity, and crosstalk are all crucial electrical parameters that can be affected by these properties. To ensure proper material selection, it is important to design interconnects with impedance matching and signal integrity in mind. Second, thermal management. Hybrid PCBs often have high power densities, which can generate significant amounts of heat during operation. Any temperature fluctuations can damage the components and even warp the board permanently, leading to issues such as hot spots or thermal runaways. To avoid such problems, it is essential to consider thermal management in the design. This can involve incorporating thermal vias, heat sinks, or other cooling features into the design. After learning the fundamentals of hybrid PCBs, I believe some people will be ready to use a special type of PCB in their designs. If you want to order hybrid PCBs from PCBWay, select whole or partially hybrid PCBs from additional options.